What is going on, YouTube? Zero Lead here. Back again with a new video, episode 49 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. Just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's video. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I definitely appreciate that. And today we got a couple of things to work on. We're going to be building our turbo lift corridor or excuse me well i should say our turbo lift elevator directly underneath our bridge leading into our um uh, area where we're gonna where we'll add our medical bay uh we really need to add this room in first before we get our medical bay in so we can see how much room we're gonna have to work with so i'm just continuing our main hallway down. This is going back down to the base of the neck. And right now we're directly underneath the elevator shaft for a bridge. Again, we're not going to use the left side. We're just going to do it on the right side. We're actually will delete the pillar that we had made on the left side with the intention of having a second uh, turbo lift, but we don't need a second one because again, it's overkill and it was just gonna take up too much room in this area of the ship. And I wanted to uh, make sure that this shuttle bay was big enough. You can see I'm just uh, taking away some of the access leftovers from our build session when we first started out, original X. So we're just getting rid of some of that because we don't need it. And not a super long video today, only about 20 minutes or so. Uh, definitely have a lot of cool stuff coming up. i uh, been having people ask me uh, for uh, some builds. And surprisingly, lately, I've been getting uh, people asking about the Enterprise E, actually. Um, I can say that my some of my top requests at this point is definitely um, Voyager, the Enterprise D, and the Enterprise E. Uh, I just said this in the comments, I think, yesterday to somebody, but uh, the reason I'm specifically building Voyager and the Enterprise D is because I want to prep myself uh, to get ready to build Enterprise E because I've never made that type of ship before in Minecraft. Um, I've really, uh, the only uh, ship classes I've made is the Constitution class, the Vengeance class, and then um, the Kelvin. Um, so I think that... The Enterprise uh, D and Voyager are going to be a great learning experience. Uh, they shouldn't be super difficult to do. I think the Enterprise D is going to be a little bit harder than Voyager. And I think the Enterprise D is ultimately going to be the hardest out of all three of them. But it's definitely going to happen. Uh, I don't know when, but uh, I want to keep it to a point where I'm giving you guys consistent episodes Monday through Saturday on Minecraft. Uh, for the indefinite future, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going anywhere with the channel. If anything, I'm only going to be coming out with more content. And in fact, I've got even more videos uh, planning to come out for ARC. That's going to be coming out on Mondays. And then I'm also messing with Starship Evo. I've been playing a lot of that game, which is like the space version of Minecraft. If you haven't played that game on Steam, I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, it's worth every penny for the 20 bucks. And uh, just waiting to get a little bit better in that game before I start uh, putting videos out. Uh, I want to hop back in a little bit what I got going on here. Uh, you can see I'm just working on the base for our actual turbo lift shaft. And we're not going to try to reinvent the wheel too much here. Um, I think I have go with a slight variation at first. But ultimately, um, what I fall on is exactly uh, what we had before. Just ever so slightly smaller because when we get up into the bridge, we don't have a lot of room to work with. So I thought it would be maybe awkward to um, go down into a smaller transporter or uh, turbo shaft. So I think I made, I think they're both a little bit smaller, I think. Um, could be wrong. It's been a little bit since I've gone up into the bridge. We'll have to see where we get on that. But you see, I'm just layering it out at this point. We got a three by three for our actual uh, room here. I'm trying to plot out where the door is going to go, the entrance. And that again is just three high, three wide. 
And now we're after the dark gray, we'll do a layer of red. I believe what I need to do right after the red there is a lighter strip of gray, and that would differentiate it in the bottom. So now we're going to do a row of the dark gray going across to keep that pattern from what we had originally built from our other turbo lift. Then after we do this, we need to add in our strip of uh, sea lanterns. And you can see here, not a, not a ton of room to work with. We really only have enough room to add, going up anyway, one deck. But we have some room to go down below um, to build some rooms out. So that's something to consider, too. You can There's a lot of cool stuff that you can build below in the center of your saucer, namely the uh, captain's wheel. I'm pretty sure that's where it's located on the ship, on the Constitution class. I could be wrong if I am. Let me know in the comments section, and if you can post your source, I'd actually love to check that out. But um, I'm pretty sure it's in the bottom of the saucer, in the dead center. So really, the easy solution for this is just to add additional layers. Um, but what you can see what I'm doing here is I'm matching the wall above. So again, you know, when we come down into this shaft, it doesn't, it's not so noticeable that you're in a smaller shaft. I mean, you're going to notice it when you go from this one to the other turbo lift, but while you're in it, you know, it's going to be all proportioned correctly. Right here we can do... Light strip, maybe. And then on this side. All right, we're going to blend this out just a little bit better and get rid of the access that we don't need because, again, um, right around this turbo lift that we're building uh, to get into our bridge, we're going to be adding uh, a hallway, obviously, to connect to the main circle corridor and also our main uh, hallway to go back down into our neck. But ultimately, around in this area here is where the medical bay is going to be. So want to make it to a point where it's not a super small medical bay because Enterprise, I think, on TOS Enterprise, I think I had a crew of 400. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know what they made it for Discovery, but I'm almost certain that they probably inflated that number to a ridiculous one. But I'm pretty sure that the TOS Enterprise had a crew uh, of four, three or 400 or 500. It was in that range, though, for sure. And see, this is a great way to build out your turbo lift. If you're facing the same problem, you have to make it a little bit smaller. You see, I'm just matching it up with the walls here. So it just, it looks right as you go up into the shaft. It's basically the only thing I'm trying to accomplish here. Yeah, see, at this point, I was thinking about, like, well, maybe I'll do, like, a, a doorway at an angle, but I'm pretty sure, ultimately, I get rid of this, and then we have a traditional doorway facing just one side and not catty corner. And see, the only thing we can do here is just these three layers, just fill it in. 
because we don't have the room to add in another deck, so might as well just fill that in there. And it won't look too bad. I mean, the main thing is that we've got the facade here for our turbo lift. At least it's there, you know, rather than just a dull uh, elevator shaft going up. Um, one thing I, I actually do want to talk about, though, is I've had uh, some people ask me about this. Uh, well, not that many, but a, a couple. Uh, during uh, the corridor um, section of the tutorial, I know that's when my mic was going out, and or my old mic, and I was having problems uh, with those like three episodes, I think, that we covered that. And I didn't show the bigger corridor construction on uh, the Disco Enterprise. And the reason I did that was because the construction for the smaller ring to the big, uh, bigger one, uh, the circular corridor, they're the, exactly the same. Um, I think that if you're um, a seasoned builder and you're a little bit more familiar with building, you've done a couple of ships, probably not going to have a problem. But if you're newer to it, um, that might be a little bit trickier for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put out a separate tutorial on um, building uh, corridors for beginners and showing like an easier way of how you guys can do it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see me build, you know, drop a comment below. Uh, love to hear what you the uh, like, and you never know if uh, there might be a lot of people that start asking for that as well, or I might just be filling it and uh, might decide to do it anyway. But you never know. But don't get discouraged if you're. Uh, idea doesn't get chosen but still i like to to try to go off of what the community wants and you know what i'm uh, in the mood to build too because that's the other thing too you gotta you gotta have the passion for it otherwise you're gonna get bored and uh, that kind of happened that's happened to me with builds actually the uh the discovery you know i lost interest in that ship and i never finished it Sure, maybe one day I'll probably go back to it, but I just kind of ha haven't had the desire to do it. So that's why I've been uh, that's why I've been going about it the way that I have. Uh, so any ships that I do, um, I think you know they're going to be ones that you know I, I can get passionate about because I feel if I had the passion to do it, then you know it's going to come out a little bit better, and that'll show in the build. And I. You know, I'm not trying to be arrogant in any way. You know, I'm sure that there's people on here that can build way better than I can. And uh, I'm not, you know, saying what I'm doing is the best. But the, the Enterprise, at the end of the day, especially the Constitution class, is my favorite one. So that one is by far definitely going to have the most heart in it. But with that being said, uh, a lot there's a lot of ships that I really like on here. So I'm excited to uh, to really start doing those. And uh, even if there's stuff that is not necessarily uh, Star Trek related, it could be Star Wars or any other show. Um, doesn't even have to be uh, space related. It could be anything, really. You never know. I mean, anything nerd related, put it that way. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm a nerd and I like to nerd out on stuff. I'm a big kid at heart, so I like to get down on all that stuff. So if there's anything you guys want, drop a comment. But getting back into this, you can see that I'm just trying to basically form out our wall here. But again, like this whole like catty corner thing that I got going on, like it's just it's not going to work. What we're going to have to do is we're just going to shift the entrance to a straight to meet up with the hallway that we made here. And then we'll make another doorway here so we can get into our uh, actual uh, medical bay. But this will give you some ideas because you never know. Uh, you might see this and be like, ooh, I really like that. Because at the end of the day, there's a thousand and one ways that you can build these ships. Um, you're not restricted to any types of blueprints because a set blueprint for this ship doesn't exist. Um, so there's a lot of liberties that you can take. And the, uh, I think the main important thing here is just to have fun. All right, so we got to adjust that a little bit back there because I think that's coming down a little bit too low, that ceiling there. But we'll get there. And you guys will notice this with my, uh, my ships. It usually, uh, if not always, uh, that's a thing that uh, when you're doing the interior, it's very important to get your your 
paths established first because you know again that's uh helps to shape your ship in a lot of ways and you'll see when uh we build some of the rooms on the interior like when we get into uh the uh transporter room and like the bowling alley and the captain's quarters and all that stuff um there's a certain shape that these rooms have now because of the way that our corridors are mapped out in the ship. There's so much room that we have to use per section, and um, we're going to use that to our advantage to build it out. But if you did it the other way, you'd end up more than likely with a, a mess of an interior. So it's definitely a, a rhythm to my uh, madness here and why I build the way that I do on Minecraft. And I hope that uh, this tutorial series is helping you guys and you're getting your ships a little bit more accurate. You know, I really tried to um, include all the tips and things that I'm aware of in building on here to make these ships uh, look the way that they do when I build them. Yes, I mean, this was a good idea here, and it was cool to try something different. And that's the thing, like, it's never a bad idea, to, you know, to try something new. And I say it all the time, sometimes you just got to throw something down, see how it looks. And if it looks like crap, you know, just take it down again and try it again until it looks better. Um, don't be worried about it looking bad or making a mistake. I can tell you right now that, you know, I've been building on Minecraft for over 10 years. I still make mistakes on here all the time. Um, it's going to happen, you know, so. But uh, I just, I don't know. The, we're going to have to change this for sure because this really isn't working too much. I mean, we're not going to have to completely change all this. We're just going to have to slightly edit it. We're going to use the main hallway that we have. We've just got to alter how we're going to go into the turbo lift. Because the problem here is that there's just something, what I'm building here, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but at the end of the day, you would never see something like this on the Enterprise. So that was kind of like the reason, well, you know, if I'm not going to see it on there, why would I include it? Or if it wouldn't look this way. Usually when you get on a turbo lift, it's like right there off the hallway. I feel like in this case, like I'm kind of like, doing like a bend to to get where i need to go so it's just a little bit unnecessary basically yeah and that doorway we're gonna have to adjust that but we'll we'll, we'll get there for sure we're gonna i think we're gonna go over into our corridors here actually and get a little bit of work done before we wrap up uh, episode 49. And I think my doorways, they're not high enough. I want them to be three high because now it's, um, when you're bringing it down to two high, like it's making it smaller. And that was something that my Enterprise A had that I was never really crazy about because it made my ship look smaller. Um, I like the fact that I have three high hallways here and doorways because it adds like an extra, it feels like it adds a little bit more scale to the ship and it's not so compact. But it's not super big at the same time either, which is what you want. Because Constitution class was never supposed to be a super big ship. Yeah, so all of our uh, doorways here, we're going to move these half slabs just going straight across and then making sure that our door actual doorways themselves are three high. We're going to go over to this one. Now we're going to do the same thing, have the half slabs going across to the other doorway and the doorway itself, deleting these blocks. All right. Got to move those half slabs. I didn't do that there.
Move them across on this side. Perfect. And that's the thing. I'm usually really good about uh, if I make a change on here uh, that I show you guys. Um, like I said, the, the that was the one exception with the corridor, the circular one, because I do it and I want to rewind so I can show you. But I build them in a way that it's the same thing for both sides, uh, for both the circular corridors. It doesn't matter whether it's the little one or outer one. But basically what I do is um, when we, if you guys remember in the first couple of episodes, when we put down... Um, a bunch of rings inside of our uh, saucer and i said that these were going to double as hull lines and also our corridor indicator lines that's what i go off of when i build this thing so this dark gray strip is the circle that we made going around the top of our saucer that's the hull line and our corridor indicator line and what I basically do is I go up to like right here, for example, where we're going to start a circle corridor and I put down, well, I look up and see where my pattern is starting on my circle. So in this case, it looks like it's three or four wide. So I build out my wall three or four wide. And then I look up again to see which way the circle is going. So it's going to the right or excuse me, going to the left. So that's where my, my wall is going to go. It's going to follow what this circle is up here. And that's how the uh, placement, as far as these blocks on the wall are gonna go. Only thing you have to do is get the pattern down. So I know that I'm using too high on a lighter gray, and then I go up one and back, and I have a red block, and then I have a strip of half slabs going across this side. And then on this side, I've got half slabs on the bottom, behind that I've got red, and then above the half slabs, I've got dark gray strip above that and out light gray and then taper it on across that is the white. It's not complicated. It's actually pretty easy, but it just takes some time to get used to building in that way. I do this because it helps me um, to one, stay accurate because if I didn't use this circle line, to start my turns on here, then I wouldn't end up with a circle and it would be very distorted. And it also helps me to determine where um, I maybe need to add a block or remove a block. So again, you know, if uh, that's something you're stuck on, uh, definitely uh, check, uh, keep an eye out for that in the future. My uh, corridors for beginners will be coming out. It should just be one episode. But it's going to go over, you know, all that stuff with you and show you the simplest way to build out a circular corridor and the straightaway corridors, too. So I'm going to do the same thing over here because I just want to have a flush line going across. This is where our straightaway hallways are metering or circular ones. We just want a nice transition so all the blocks, nothing looks out of place. I think that looks a lot better than how it was before. I'm sure you guys notice that our straightaway hallways are a little bit different than our circular ones. That's just because we can't use that same pattern for the circular ones because if I've and I've tried to, um, it gets very distorted and doesn't maintain that same shape and it doesn't it just doesn't look good. So I think that's uh, gonna wrap up episode 49. Still have a lot more to do on the interior. Um, we've got some more stuff to do on the exterior before we're going to wrap up uh, the Disco Enterprise series. But uh, stick with me till the end. Still have a lot of cool stuff to do on this series. Uh, check back on Monday. Episode 50 is going to be coming out. Kind of a big deal. I'm really excited about that. Um, can't believe I'm already up to episode 50 on the Disco Enterprise tutorial series. Um, 
if uh, you're just checking out the series for the first time and this is a little bit too much for you, be sure to check out my Mock Enterprise tutorial series. It's about three episodes, and it'll go over the basics on all you need to know to build a smaller scale enterprise. But uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Just want to thank you again for tuning in to today's episode. And you can always catch new episodes Monday through Saturday. The only day I don't have new episodes coming out is on Monday. So I'll catch you guys on the next one on Monday. Have a great weekend.